know a lot of you are having some trouble with the ePortfolio generation. So I wanted to do a little video to help you guys out. So first of all, we're going to go to ePortfolio once we've clicked on our course. So once you click on ePortfolio, we have the option to create a new presentation under Build Your ePortfolio. So if you haven't already created your trauma toolbox, you're going to click on New Presentation. And then you're going to name your presentation. So I'm going to name my presentation COU 680 Trauma Toolbox. Okay, I don't need a description or tags. You can add those later if you feel the need. And then you're going to click on Save. Okay. So now that is done, it's created a save successfully. Let's create some content for your trauma toolbox. So you can see we have a new page here that's already there. We're going to delete that page because you don't need it. And we're going to add a new one. So we don't want it to be called new page. We're going to call it our welcome page. Welcome page. And we click save. Now you see that's going to pop up right here. All right. Now we're going to add another one. And we want to name that one Developmental and Ecological Resources. So we're going to go here and write Developmental and Ecological Resources. And click Save. third page on your ePortfolio will be Specific Crisis and Trauma Interventions. And once again click Save. Alright, a couple more to go here suicide slash homicide interventions. Alright. It's just the same old, same old over and over again, guys. Suicide Let's see. How many do we have left? We have crisis intervention and disaster, crisis intervention with disaster and mass violence. And last but not least, counselor self-care. All right. And since this didn't want to delete before, we can delete it again. And now it's gone. And we see that's all saved. So this is going to be what it looks like. And if I click on View Presentation, it's going to show up as this. So I want to go and change my banner. And you see right here, you can click on Banner. And then I'll change this one to COU680. Save. All right, now we're going to view our presentation, and there you go. That's done. Okay, so now if we go back to our tools and ePortfolio, you're going to see that 
my regular trauma toolbox obviously is named just trauma toolbox i changed i added the name of this one as something different so that i'd know which one to delete later so now you want to add artifacts to your trauma toolbox all of your short papers and the PDF files and the things that you're told that you need to add to your trauma toolbox this is how you're going to do that so you're going to click on my items and then click on add and then file upload and this is how you add things to your trauma toolbox if you don't add these and these are called artifacts if you don't add these artifacts you can't get them into your trauma toolbox so you're going to click on upload and then you'll just choose I'm just going to choose this one and click on open you see it loaded there it is and hit add and then next and then you have to hit save and then you'll have to hit save and close now it is officially in your items area so you can see at the top right above where I just added my trauma toolbox is now the case study of hope in trap tank track <laughs> hope track changes okay so now we want to add that to our trauma toolbox so you're going to click on the little arrow next to your trauma toolbox and then go to edit now you're inside your trauma toolbox and you go back to content and layout again this is going to give you all of the pages that you just created in your trauma toolbox and then you want to add let's see hope goes into I believe it was specific trauma so depending on the area you want to add you're going to click on that area so all of the counselor self-care items would be added down here the crisis intervention um, with disaster and mass violence is going to add here the suicide and homicide interventions here specific trauma interventions are here so we're going to add our component I don't know if you said but did I move move too fast for you so you're going to go click on the area that you want to add a component to after you've already uploaded that component you're going to click add component and then you're going to click on artifact and we see that these are all the artifacts that I have uploaded the way I just showed you guys a minute ago so then you're gonna click on the case study of hope and if you have more things that you want to add you can click on several things at once so I could click on hope here and Josh and Alana okay if I want to add all of those short papers to this one area I can do that and I can click add now you see these are all loading into this content area and these little arrows over here give you the option to move those around so if you wanted one um, up here and one down there you just click on that little arrow and it just switched places not that you can tell because those both say the same thing so we'll just move that one down and there you can see Josh is now here and Hope is now here so then we click on counselor self-care I'll show you guys one more time you'll click on add component click on artifact and we scroll down to the self-care plan template click on that click on add and now our self-care plan template is right here under our counselor self-care now if you want to view the presentation again you see shows my banner up here this is my welcome page you can put information in there if you'd like and I have added information to my specific trauma and crisis intervention so if I clicked on that now I have all these papers showing up if I click on counselor self-care it's going to show me what I've added to that area as well Okay, guys so if for whatever reason these become out of order you can adjust that by clicking on this reorder pages and change it right here it gives you one two three four five six 
All you got to do is change the number and it's going to move it around. Okay guys, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Otherwise, um, this is pretty much it. It gets It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, just setting up the trauma toolbox takes the most amount of time and then you know uploading each artifact can be a little tedious but simple once you figure it out it's just clicking on my items and then clicking on add and then hitting next and save several times but there you go guys need any help let me know hope you enjoyed this video